the very first, very most basic thing with water control is using the right brush. This brush is a round 7000 series brush, synthetic hair. It's pretty stiff. And these brushes are quill brushes. And these quill brushes hold a ton of water. Even this little one holds a lot of water. And so if you're trying to control the water, it's going to just put more than you want. So that's number one. Number two in controlling the water is how much water you allow to stay on your brush. If you have this much water, it's dripping. If you have this much, it's still pretty wet, but not dripping. If you wipe it on your cellulose sponge, that soaks up quite a bit, and now it's dry enough, it's bending a bit. And then if you really want it dry, you can do this or wipe it on a tissue. Now, if you want more control, then you're going to want a brush that isn't a quill brush and a, just a basic round brush works very well. And I'm going to paint this rose hip with wet, a wet brush, but not drippy wet, on dry paper. A little bit of blue to get a darker area right here. Maybe I should have made it a little bit of green. And immediately go into Liz from Crimson and red behind this there is a darker area and then up here it actually gets oranger see I'm moving a little bit quickly I want to move to the next spot before it dries so that it blends without leaving a sharp line and if you do get a sharp line, then you, you have to agitate a little bit. And then there's this blur here. Before I move on, I want to get some pink in there because, of course, it's not totally white. Now I want to lift some paint, so I'm drying my brush really well. I'm, I'm squeezing it with my finger into the sponge, and I'm going to just go in a circle on top of that, get it wet again, and get that little shiny spot back. And because it's damp around it, it's spreading out. These are the most basic ways you control water when you're painting. I hope you found this helpful, and if you did, please subscribe and like. Would love to have you put in the comments things that you struggle with in your painting, and maybe I can make a video about them. Thank you for watching. Happy painting.